Lady Chatterley's Lover. David Herbert Lawrence was born on the 11th of September uh, 1885 in Eastwood, a small town in Nottinghamshire from a very religious family. His father was a miner and his mother was an elementary school teacher. Lawrence was particularly close to his mother, who did everything to save his children from a certain destiny of industrial proletariat that had marked them from birth. It was in this context that Lawrence developed his hostility toward the industry that had negatively marked his father. Lawrence worked for many years as a teacher at an elementary school in London before devoting himself to writing. He initially inspired to become a poet. In 1909, he published his first verses in the English Review, and in 1911 and 1912, his first two novels, Il Pavone Bianco and Di Contrabando. In 1912, he left England with Frida Weekly, wife of her university professor, whom she married in 1914, after the publication of his third novel, Sons and Lovers. Except for a short time spent in England during the World War I, Lawrence, through uh, his life, traveled the world, driven by his frenetic search for places untouched by men and industrialization. The plot. So, uh, Lady Chatterley Lover is perhaps the most scandalous book of English literature of the 20th century. It narrates the experience of the author of the betrayal committed against him by his wife, Frida Weekly, represented in the work by one of the main characters, Constance Chatterley. Set in the deep Victorian age, it wants to represent two main things, the contrast between feelings and the industrialized society. It does so through uh, three leading figures. Sir Clifford, a charming man but paralyzed from the waist down during the Great War, and Lady Constance, a young bourgeois, um, and the game warden Mellors. The latter will remain involved in a passionate and sensual relationship, which refers to that series of natural values that the civilization of machines tends inexorably to erase. Lady Chatterley's figure destabilized the Victorian moral in England during the 1930 by her rejection of social and moral conventions, Connie uh, manifested a deeper rebellion not suited to society at that time. Lee Chatterley becomes a revolutionary character, which embodies the situation of women um, and the little freedom of choice they had. Talking about themes, uh, Lee Chatterley's lover focuses on various topics, including the opposition between mind and body, the contrast between the two can be seen in the dissatisfaction that everyone has in their relationships. The lack of intimacy of Constance with her husband having uh, been seriously injured in war and Mellor's choice to live apart from his wife because of his somewhat brutal sexual nature. This would be the motivation that will lead them to undertake their relationship that will be built very slowly based on passionate respect and feelings. So Lady Chatterley and Mellors will learn more about the relationship between mind and body, and she will find out that sex is much more than a shameful act, and he will learn that beyond physicality and passion, there's more. We have also historical context. In Lady Chatterley Lover, there are also some references to the British social context of the 20th century, the story of an aristocratic uh, woman who is infatuated with a lowly gamekeeper. Clifford is more confident in his position, while Connie is not always comfortable when the villagers treat her too much like a lady. Um, there are also signs of dissatisfaction and resentment from the coal reserves of Theosho, whose fortune are in decline, against Clifford, who owns the mines. References to anarchism, socialism, communism and capitalism are a fundamental part of the book. Union strikes uh, have also been a constant concern in Rugby Hall, and of course the coal mining is a recurring theme. We have industrialization in nature, and as in most of Lawrence's fiction, a key theme is the contrast between nature and industrialization. Clifford wants to straighten the minds with the new technologies, and is in contrast with nature, while Connie often appreciates the beauty of the untouched landscapes and sees the ugliness of the mines. 
talking about the film adaptation with differences between uh, film and book. Lady Chatterley Lover is a 1981 American drama film directed by Just Jacking. As far as the film adaptation is concerned, the novel is revived by highlighting only the sexual and emotional aspects. The physiological ensign of the characters and the historical period of those years are eclipsed almost entirely. The film is much more simpler and lighter than the book. Even the theme of the industrialization arises just little in the film, which is instead characterized by the simple love between the gamekeeper and a noble woman. The thought and moods of the three main characters stand out little. The suffering and difficulties of the time do not emerge. And in the film, it almost seems that adultery was tolerated in those years when we know very well that this was not the real situation. I chose this novel because I think that, although it was written in 1928, it reflects many aspects of today's reality. The problem of industrialization or of today's globalization was the theme that arose at the time and already created disagreements and problems, and today is one of the most discussed issues in the world. This very present subject in the book made me realize that the human being has been changing and polluting the environment for decades now. As for the concept of adultery, it interested me that a story that will be so common in our day, just think of all the scandals involving the stars or simply the common lives of everyone, at the time it caused so much chaos that it was even censored. It is incredible to see how over the years society evolves and mutates. If we think of more recent stories that have not created the same clamor as Lawrence's novel, we find, for uh, example, The Ages of Lulu by Almudena Grandes, or even more recent, Seta by Alessandro Baricco. From this, we can conclude how our way of reading has changed and how now books that tell of strong passions and uh, love stories in seen in this way are increasingly accepted and appreciated.